welcome to another exciting episode of baking you memories and today i'm going to teach you how to make a basic red velvet cake this is one cake that is very nice very tender and decadent simple processes that you have to follow again measurement is key is an outfit that specializes in cakes for all events creative and innovative cakes that can make that event memorable we also have a training school where you as an aspiring baker can achieve you know the skills that you have been dreaming to get upcoming in on the 4th of june is the discount class that you cannot afford to miss the details will be shown on the screen it's just 27,000 naira. So why am I saying this? I don't want you to miss out on this. It happens once a year. All right. So today we are going to be using half cup of margarine, which is 113 grams. We're going to use 200 grams of sugar. We're going to use 250 grams of sifted flour. It is very important that you sift the flour. We need two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder one over four teaspoon of salt two eggs we'll be using one teaspoon of vanilla essence one teaspoon of white vinegar and then we'll use our uh, red fruit coloring and of course we'll still use one teaspoon of uh, baking powder would also want to use one cup of buttermilk but as we progress you will see what buttermilk actually means so straight up we need to cream and to cream is to add our 113 grams of butter 200 grams of sugar and then we put on our machine and then cream till it is light fluffy and uh, light in color too one of the most crucial parts of your red velvet cake is what the main core ingredients are made up of. Um, the white vinegar, the buttermilk is very crucial and the vanilla to the taste, to the unique taste of the red velvet cake. So the combination of the buttermilk and the white vinegar, the vanilla is what gives the crux of what the red velvet tastes like. So you have to like have one cup of milk now buttermilk is one cup of milk with uh, two tablespoons of white vinegar emphasis is white vinegar uh, that is because we have other forms of vinegar in the market so white vinegar two tablespoons now other substitutes are uh, sour cream yogurt please always uh, use quality ingredients now you allow this to sit for about 10 minutes so while that is happening we'll go along and continue with the other aspects of our preparation so we need one level teaspoon of baking powder inside of our floor and then we equally combine our salt now this is important it's very important very crucial to follow the recipe the way it is if you want good results that is so we have this and then you just you can start to just combine so here you go now you see our eggs, fresh eggs. It's very important to use fresh ingredients for your cakes if you want them to not run stale on you too fast. Now with your um, buttermilk standing still, you can decide to add your red food coloring to it. If you are using liquid colors, this is the best approach. All you need to do is to um you know put this in i'm gonna use two tablespoons i want to be very sure of the color 
because the signature look of a red velvet cake is that bright red you know color that it has that's what gives it the appeal that it has and that's why everybody's excited about it so let's move along so let's go ahead to combine all our ingredients now you can see our fresh eggs we wix it till it's foamy we do that to incorporate air in our cream mixture we need to add one teaspoon of vanilla essence one teaspoon of white vinegar and the next thing you're going to do is to alternate your eggs with your flour and then when your eggs are over you alternate your buttermilk with the remaining flour so let's go ahead with that Blending this in. Alternating means you put one followed by the other. So let's go ahead. Nice. Followed with some quantity of flour. Remember, it's all mixed up with your powdered ingredients, cocoa powder, the salt, the baking powder, it's all in here. So, all nice. Nice and smooth. So now we are left with this. Wow, this is so colorful. You have to be really careful with this so it doesn't splash. Wisdom would demand that you kind of blend it in gently first before using the hand mixer, before putting it on. Now you can also blend this in manually, so but I need to show you this. Okay, so we continue like this, put another part in and then finally finish with folding in the floor. So let's get on to the end and you see the finished product. Okay, so now see, uh, you know, our finished batter is a nice, nice textured batter. And be sure to have preheated your oven because, you know, this has to bake in very nice. And then you can either grease and floor your pans two six inches pans or you can either line them so let's go ahead and pour this butter into two prepared pans nice and red very beautiful like wow i can't even wait for this to come out of the oven now the beauty about separating your butter into two to a cold pans it's just so that you know it can bake nicely and it has a lot of space in the pan to you know rise 
so let's just get that done with and then straight into the oven okay so the recipe i taught you is a butter based red velvet so next time sometime during the show i'm going to teach you how to make an oil based version of the red velvet cake so follow us on all our social media platforms the updates are there the full recipe is on our page it's going to be on our page and on our youtube channel you can also catch the video tutorial so i'm leveling this just to make sure that it's nice and smooth and on the top and ready to bake so let's pop this into the oven shall we oh wow so red velvet is out of the oven and well cool now i said something earlier about this red velvet recipe and this cake it has to have the signature look see how red it is and then i said those ingredients the uh, white vinegar and the uh, vanilla essence the cocoa or sweetened cocoa powder the buttermilk these are the core ingredients that gives it its unique taste now when it's not there in the right proportions it's not going to taste like it so it's not just make a cake you have to do it the way it's supposed to and then you get it very nice and the result is really worth it so let's dig in and see how this is you can see it's crumbly you can see that ah this is the way it's supposed to be like very nice we'll be having guests on this show so uh, wow you should try this at home totally so i'm looking forward to your calls your questions i'm so willing to respond to all of them you can follow us on our social media platforms we're looking forward to hearing from you next time same station same time Ciao!